On my business card, I am a corporate president. In my mind, I am a game developer. But in my heart, I am a gamer. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is my Chronicle here and tonight I am bringing you guys another video. Uh, now yesterday you guys were expecting to see another video but um, unfortunately I have to apologize for the video to be delayed until now. Uh, now this is the video that all of you guys have been waiting for. Today I am going to talk about the death that happened to Iwata not too long ago. Now, I know that over on the internet, over the internet, a lot of people have been discussing about what happened to Nintendo CEO and president of Nintendo. And also, before I go further into this, uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is uh, what exactly happened. And then later, I'm going to talk you guys through some quotes that Iwata had. Some quotes that are very well notable that came from Iwata's heart. Now, the first time I heard about this, like I said, it was probably in the previous video, but like I said um, in the last video, I was at Walmart and I was on my phone, you know, on Facebook, going through the news feed until I came across it. Um, until I came across an update from Game Explain stating that Iwata passed away, and I was like, "Wait, what? Are you, what are they talking about?" And at first, I didn't exactly believe it, but then when I went onto the video, Game Explain announced, well, not like. They didn't like actually announce, but they were saying, they were talking about Iwata dying, you know, just the other day. Now, I might have been like about a day late uh, on hearing about this because, you know, I mean, I was pretty busy, you know, I always had a busy schedule. And speaking of, of a busy schedule, I should really, you know, put up, a, put up a schedule for when I should put my videos up from time to time, you know? But anyways, that's not the point. The point is, is that uh, Iwata passed away from a bile duct tumor, bile duct cancer, whatever you guys want to, whatever you guys want to call it, you know? Now, I don't remember that much information off by heart and in my mind, uh, but here I am on Wikipedia right now. So I'm going to read you guys a little bit about what happened exactly, okay? In June 2014, Nintendo announced that Iwata will not be present at E3 2014 due to medical rela related reasons. It was later revealed that he was undergoing surgery to remove a tumor in his bile duct. A little over a year later, on July 12, 2015, Nintendo announced that Iwata died the previous day at the age of 55 due to complications from the tumor. Which is actually quite shocking, you know, because I, I honestly didn't think that he would just die so soon, you know, considering that, he's only, that he was only 55 years old, you know. You know, he shouldn't have died so soon, but, you know, I mean, a lot of people didn't want him to go, you know, and I feel really sorry for all of the Nintendo fans out there and the gamers alike. Flags at Nintendo's headquarters were lowered to half-mast. All of Nintendo's regional offices took a day of silence on July 13 across all of its social media accounts in remembrance of Iwata. Nintendo confirmed that until an official replacement is announced, General Directors Shigeru Miyamoto and Genio Takeda would be acting presidents, taking over Iwata's former duties together managing the company in their in the Interium. Members across the gaming industry and fans alike expressed their sadness on social media over Iwata's passing and gratitude for his accomplishments. So yeah, I knew you know, like, after I heard about this, you know, word was, like, being spread all over the internet about Iwata dying, you know. And, you know, like, at the time, I didn't know, I didn't know at first, like, what the, what the cause of his death was until I looked into it more, and there's just a little bit more left. One day after Iwata's death, a rainbow appeared over Nintendo's headquarters in Kyoto and was dubbed the Rainbow Road to Heaven, a reference to a stage in Mario Kart. Which is actually quite interesting if you think of it this way, you know, because, you know, like the rainbow appearing over their headquarters and, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, like him going up the rainbow to heaven, you know? If you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So yeah, just to make the whole story short, you know, uh, at the age of 55, not too long ago, like a few days ago, Iwata passed away from a bile duct tumor, cancer, whatever you guys like to call it, and... 
at the moment, there's nothing really else. I mean, I don't know if they held his funeral services yet. I'm guessing they, they might have, or, or they will be eventually. But I'm not sure. But until they say something else, you know. Still, I'm just, I'm just like the thing that I'm like concerned about is that with the Wada gone now, like, how do you think Nintendo's gonna be? Like, do you guys think it's gonna be the same now? Like, without e without Iwata? I mean, like, are they gonna? I mean, I don't know. Only only time can tell, and you know, and there's there's nothing really else that we can do about it. You know, we can't fight history. You know, we just have to face the consequences, whether we like it or not. So basically, Iwata's gone, and you know, that's just part of life. You know, everybody has to die eventually. You know, once they're old enough. Anyways, on to the next part of the video. Um, now I'm gonna show. I'm I'm gonna read through some of these. Uh, 11 quotes from IGN.com. I'm on their page right now. 11 memorable Satoru Iwata quotes. Challenging the norm. Nintendo President Satoru Iwata passed away this weekend, leading to an outpouring of emotion and, and, and admiration from friends, business, competitors, admirers, and nearly everyone else from all corners of the video game industry. Now the first quote. For young players, classic games are brand new. For older players, they bring back memories and make you feel good. Quote 2. Throughout the history of game development, the game control mechanism has become more and more sophisticated. Perhaps those who have quit gaming or who have never played games look at the game controller and think it's too difficult to play, even before they dare to touch it. Quote 3. If we continue down the same path as we have in the past, people may become tired of gaming. Quote 4. We consider us ourselves above all else as a gaming company. We believe other companies in the console marketplace see themselves primarily as technology companies. Quote 5. We do not run from risk, we run to it. We are taking the risk to move beyond the boundaries of the game industry to reach new players and current players. Quote 6. Above all else, video games are meant just to be one thing. Fun for everyone. Quote 7. On my business card, I am a corporate president. In my mind, I am a game developer. But in my heart, I am a gamer. You guys have to admit, you can't deny that one. And plus, that one's... If I had to pick a favorite quote out of all of, all of the 11, you know, it'd be this one. I really love what he says in this quote. Quote 8. Of course, it's valuable to devise an offshoot of a current idea, but it is invaluable to come up with a brand new idea of what a game can be. Quote 9. It's a lot of fun. It can quickly become, well, it's a lot of fun, but... Quote 10. I've never once been embarrassed that children have supported Nintendo. I'm proud of it. That's because children judge products based on instinct. Everyone wants to vote to appeal to everyone's to people's instincts. But it's not easy. And finally, last but not least, quote 11. In our business, too often people with a fresh idea don't have a chance. I believe if Tetris were presented today, here is what the producer would be told. 1. Go back, give me more levels. 2. Give me better graphics. 3. Give me cinematics, and you're probably going to need a movie license to sell that idea to the public. And yeah, that is pretty much all the quotes uh, on IGN's page. Now, there's nothing, really, no, there's nothing really else to it at the moment. Um, I don't really have anything else to share with you guys on this video, but um, uh, I think I'm going to have to cut it here. Um, but just before we finish out this video, I have a little friend to show you. Now this is Kai, he's a lizard, and yes, he's real, he's actually uh, my pet. He's not actually mine, but it's like the family's pet, you know? And if you're wondering what kind of lizard this is, this is a bearded dragon. But yeah, I just uh, thought that I could show you guys him, you know? In case if you guys were interested. <laughs> yeah, it's... But yeah, that's Kai. Um, for bearded dragons, it's hard to tell what gender it is, you know? You can't, it, it's not easy to tell, like, you know? You can only tell at, like, a very 
young age. Anyways, other than that guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, if you liked it, go ahead and like the video. And if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe and like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. But other than that guys, that's pretty much it. And by the way, Satoru Iwata, rest in peace. On behalf of all the gamers and Nintendo fans alike, in the hearts of everyone, you will live on. You are not gone, but deep in our hearts, you are with everyone. Thank you, Iwata. Until then, guys, that's pretty much it. And this is my Chronicle here, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.